What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I've got something different for you today. So, do you want to play Train Sim World 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Train Sim Classic or anything like that with a proper controller, but don't want to fork out mm, two or three hundred pound on a rail driver that's got little handles like a kid's toy? Yeah, me neither. So, uh... I found a way around it. Um, I've got a Zuiki mask on, which is a Nintendo Switch controller for Denture to go on the Switch, but it works on PC as well. Works on train crew, stuff like that. Brilliant controller. Not a little toy feeling thing like the rail driver. Unfortunately, there is a lot of games that it works with, but it will not work with Train Sim World. Train Sim World only allows rail driver. So, that's where this comes in. This program here, you can set it with Arduino or whatever. Whatever USB controller you plug in, right? This program here will trick the game into thinking that you're using a rail driver, which is really helpful. Uh, obviously what you do is, you know, you come into it, you select your controller, whatever it may be, you can use a flight, throttle, anything. Um, I made a boo-boo, usually here you'll have um, throttle and brake, you can just use that as a general profile, but right now I'm using West Coast Line 150 slash 2. That's the train, it shows you the train here, and obviously... When you're driving a different train, you'll alt-tab out back to this program and you'll select the train that you're driving. It's got a tube stop, everything you would want. But anyway, I'll splice some footage in of me using it. It's not going to be live footage because I ain't got the facility to record that at the same time. So that will come in separately. So what we do is, right, um, let me show you how to assign your buttons first. Basically, you'll come to throttle and brake, which is your most easiest if you have a Zuiki mask on. You'll right click and you'll go assign controller axes. I'll move the controller forward and then back to neutral. There you go. Zuiki mask on. Done. Set up. Ready to go. Uh, I'm not going to save it because I've already set it up. You don't have to do anything in Train Sim World. Nothing. You don't have to do anything in Train Sim World. Nothing at all. So what we do is we'll leave that running in the background. That runs in the background the whole time. Uh, we'll click start callback. It'll say unable to connect to TSW, retry and connection. Things might go a bit wonky here, guys, because I've got the game set to 4K, so <laughs> the screen might go a bit wonky, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Come on. Start up Steam. We'll go library, we'll go Train Sim World 5, we'll click play. And then what I'll try to show you... Once the game starts up, as I'll try, I am recording my screen rather than the game, so you should be able to see this. In fact, it doesn't even matter because it's all at the top of it at the minute. There you go, connected to Trinsim World, right? We can, okay, when it allows us to, we can click onto the game. I mean, we can minimize that. Uh, there we go. Game's gone full screen. It has messed with my OBS, so I don't, <laughs> I hope OBS is still recording. Purely because I've got it in 4K, because I played this game on 1440, I switched it to 4K just to see what it was like, and the clarity is unbelievable. It's one of them games where if you put it on 1440p, it goes all fuzzy, because I've, I'm on a 4K display. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. The, f the footage of me actually using the controller may not be perfectly in sync, because I'm going to record that separately, but I will show you it working and the screen at the same time. So I'm just gonna go class 375. I've found that the profile that I've got with the with set in the moment at the TSW controller software works perfect with this. Uh, just gonna, I don't know, this one. That one will do. <laughs> don't really matter, does it? All right, guys, we are all coupled up and we are back. It's finally gonna let us take control of the train. Right, let's jump aboard. Let's do what it wants us to do. 
Master key. Oh, that's too far. Neutral. You can also set up the buttons as well. I've got the doors set up. So, as you will see, obviously, like I said, I won't be able to show you this live, but we'll be able to show you on a separately recorded video. Come on. Right, so if I press Y on the Zuiki mask on, there you go. Left doors locked, and they are closing. Right. Now we set the reverse at forward. Obviously, you can do this on the Zuiki as well, or whatever control you like, but I haven't set that up yet. Let's set the DRA, and what we're going to do now is... We're going to come out of braking range. And I'm not touching the keyboard whatsoever. I am pulling back on the Zuiki mask on. And off we go. And if I put it back to neutral range, there you go, you see, that's neutral range, locks in. And we can also go full braking range, including emergency. Except now I've got to reset the DRA door. I forgot where the frigging thing is. <laughs> oh, bollocks, I just pressed it. There it is. There we go. Reset the DRA and we are moving again. Let's get some power up and let's shift. There you go. I'm just keeping it on the Zuiki mask on. I am not touching anything on the keyboard whatsoever. Obviously, using my mouse to look around, but if you really wanted to, you could set up buttons for that. But yeah, works really well, guys. Like I say, I'm still trial, kind of trial and error in it. Because some train, trains ignore the neutral range, which is annoying because then you can't coast. But I'm going to assume that that's just a case of changing the type of train that you're driving within the TSW software. So, that being said... Let me show you the TSW software again, just to clarify things, wherever the friggin' hell it's gone. There it is. So yeah, it's called TSW Rail Driver and Joystick Interface, guys. I will try to leave a link in the description. Um, you do have to install .NET Framework to use it, but it does come in the folder here, as you can see. So it comes with it, it comes with everything you need. Uh, the direct text don't come with it, but you don't need that if your computer's up to date. I didn't. So, that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, uh, like I did, don't, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Enjoy your trains. Bye-bye for now.